This week we begin a brand new book, Vayikra Leviticus, which focuses on the services within the sanctuary, within the Mishkan. In particular, we start with the sacrifices, the Korbanot. This week, on the outset, we start with one particular Korban, and there's three ways of fulfilling and offering this sacrifice. Either the bull, if one can afford it, or if one can't afford that, you bring a sheep, or if you can't even afford that, you bring a bird. In other words, the Torah is sensitive to my financial position and expects of me to bring a korban, a sacrifice that suits my financial position. The, the code of law tells us that if a person underachieves or under offers the korban, God doesn't accept it. For example, if someone has the means to buy a bull for a sacrifice and instead offers up a bird, God says, uh-uh, that's not going to find favor in my eyes. You need to contribute based on what you can afford and what you can do and don't underachieve or don't undergive. The mystics apply this to the spiritual service of God too. You see, we're all different. We're not all expected to be the same. One person comes from more of a religious background. One person is more educated or more knowledgeable. So then they have to bring more and do more. But somebody who comes from a less educated background, or less knowledgeable, less religious, is then for the time being expected to perform a little less, each one on their own level. But here's the trick. I can't undergive or underperform or underaccomplish. What happens if I know more? I'm more knowledgeable, more aware, more capable, but I decide to settle for less and to do less. Like the wealthy man who instead of giving, giving a bull, he gives a bird. His sacrifice isn't accepted. So too, if I know more and I'm able to achieve more, but I settle for less, God turns around and says, "Ah, uh-uh, that's not what I asked of you. I asked of you to give based on what you're capable of giving. You deserve or you're able to give more. And so let us be honest with ourselves to assess ourselves and to give God our korban, our sacrifice to the best of our ability. And then it'll be reach nichoach, will be a beautiful sense, an aroma, and nachas, God to Hashem, up on high. Shabbat Shalom.